Well, of course, I'm, I'm terribly offended uh, as a Canadian. Uh, by a government uh, that fails to recognize uh, our history. We had capital punishment at one point, uh, and it was proven to be totally ineffective. Uh, matter of fact, it encouraged, I believe, uh, violence. When governments sanction uh, the killing of citizens, regardless of reason, I believe that is uh, what gets other people thinking about killing people, and that's, uh, that's okay. In a, in, in a sane and civilized society, there's absolutely no place for one uh, 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 citizen to authorize the killing of another citizen, whether it's a government that decides that it's going to uh, take responsibility for killing people who have done some horrible things, or whether it's uh, someone who just goes out uh, and shoots uh, uh, someone like this young kid that was uh, killed yesterday here uh, in Toronto. That has no place uh, in a sane society. Uh, and I am offended that the Harper government uh, is catering to the worst instincts in people uh, by uh, saying uh, that uh, they're not going to defend uh, Canadians who were in jail in the United States or other countries uh, and facing the death penalty. That's not uh, the Canadian way uh, of doing things. We have always prided ourselves uh, in showing a, a hum humane face uh, to the rest of the world and demanding other countries deal with Canadian citizens with the same kind of humanity that we would deal with them were they in, uh, in the country at the time that they may have committed uh, a crime. Uh, so I believe uh, this will lead to a backlash by Canadians against the Harper government, and that's the only good part uh, of, this, of this thing, them backing away uh, from, uh, from uh, our history. Uh, the fact that we're uh, at war uh, for the first time in many, many years uh, uh, since the Second World War, where we're actually out uh, and, uh, and killing people uh, in Afghanistan does not make me feel good uh, as a citizen. Our role has always been peacekeeping and being humane uh, to people regardless of what the circumstances are. And hopefully the next government uh, will get us back uh, on track to both peace uh, keepers around the world and respecting uh, human beings uh, as part of the human family regardless of the condition they find themselves in.